living in Scotland, skating in wet conditions is just something that I need to do from time to time. And regardless of the kit that I choose to use, it can never mimic the feeling of skating in good conditions. It does however have some benefits I feel. I see it a little bit like altitude training. It builds confidence and I do actually feel it makes me a better skater. So I just wanted to share some tips that I have for skating in wet conditions. Tip number one is to wait. That sounds daft, but hear me out. Everything is more difficult in the wet. So my advice is, unless you're confident in the dry, don't go out when it's wet. In my opinion, all you're gonna do is ruin your experience of inline skating and increase the chances of you giving it up. Wait till it's dry, go out there, get a great experience of inline skating, and then once you get a little bit more confident with stops and with basics, venture out when it's wet. Tip number two, pad up. You get to the stage where you're ready to go out and skate in the wet, wear some pads, wear a helmet, wear knee pads, wear what you have, it just makes sense. Tip number three, make sure you can stop. Presumably you know how to stop in the dry, practice that stop before you do anything else in the wet. The drag stop is still very effective, my power stops become power slides. I tend to use that second stopping foot more than I use it first to give me a more gradual stop. Practice your stops. Tip number four, respect every individual surface. The way one surface feels can be completely different to how another surface feels. So just be very wary of each individual surface. Tip number five, Make all your movements a little bit shorter. All your strides, your crossovers. Give yourself more time for stops. Don't go to the same degree in your edges. Just make everything a little bit shorter and reduce the power. Don't expect to be able to put down the same power in the wet as you do in the dry because you will be susceptible to heavy wheel slippage. Tip number six, whenever you come across leaves, be very, very wary. The leaves give you zero traction, so do not trust them. Tip number seven, get very comfortable and very proficient with the one-footed boost. It's a great tool to be used anyway, but especially so in the wet. Freaking state of those roads, man. I'll stay them. Tip number eight roads. Roads are always a dicey place to be as a skater, let's be honest. So do not venture out in the roads until you get to the point where you're feeling very confident or just avoid them altogether. Number nine, push it just a little bit. Now this might sound like conflicting advice compared to what I've just talked about, but hear me out. When and only when you feel you're starting to gain a little bit of confidence, start pushing it just a little bit. Start testing your edges, start lengthening your stride, start increasing your foot speed. Push it just a little bit because you really grow when you're outside of your comfort zone, and this will have serious carryover benefits to your dry skin. If you can push it a little bit in the weight, when you get back on the dry, you're going to be killing it. Number 10 would be to invest in a set of 
have rust proof bearings. Your wheels will be fine, the frames and your boots, everything will clean up nicely, but nothing will put you off wet weather skating more than continuous bearing maintenance. Rust proof bearings are a seriously good investment for the wet and they're also a good bearing all year round. As I said before, regardless of the kit that I'm using skating in the wet, just can't compete with skating in good conditions. But it, it will build confidence and I do feel that overall it will make you a better skater. So don't let the poor weather put you off. Just take some additional precautions and go and enjoy skating in the wet. Take it easy out there, skate safe and I'll catch you on the next road. These wicked rust proof bearings have been rolled now for two wet seasons and the benefits of them cannot be understated.